A pineapple left at an art museum at the University of Scotland became a viral phenomenon when it was put on display and became alleged art. So why has it been so controversial pretty much forever, the definition of art? Why do people argue about this? Well, everybody has a subjective opinion. So you may look at a piece and go, to me, that's art. And you may look at another piece and go, that's ugly, whereas someone else just bid 10 million at Sotheby's for it. Right, and they don't want to be wrong after you bid that much. No one wants to be wrong about their opinion on art, but everyone will be because someone else won't see it as art. It's like if you have a two-year-old at home and they draw something, to you it's a beautiful piece of work, to everybody else it's going to go in the garbage right after it's on the fridge for five minutes. But if you put it up at Sotheby's, you just might score. You never know. So with the art debate raging on, unexpected art gallery owner Ben Smith and I took on the impossible task of trying to define art. First, let's consider the emotional impact. This is a case of a Salvador Dali print that literally he had nightmares for years, they say, about this piece, even after it was painted. It's called the vision of hell, and if you see the tuning forks piercing the body, yeah. you've got the angel looking over, there's a young girl flying out from the burnt out city, and we have the cracks of hell with a priest blessing over it. From one surrealist to another, a piece by Romanian-born artist Victor Brauner. Sold at auction, like super, you know, legit artist, right? Yep. Now, I don't know, how would you describe this? A very abstract piece, bold colors, uh, unique use of space. Yeah, so what I did is I did, inspired by that, I did this guy right here uh, in the car on the way over here with crayons. Yes, bold use of colors, imaginative, creative. Yeah, well see, the, the elephant is coming at the peanut, the peanut's distressed. Distressed, yes. What can I call this piece? Panic de peanut. Ooh, and what about me? I, I need a, like an artist's name. Ooh. Keep your day job. Next, think about the artist's intent, if there is one. What's the intention of something like this, do you think? So for a lot of artists, when I ask about how this piece came to be, it's about creating something in that space, using the negative space, creating an energy and a flow over it. And do artists ever do something like this knowing that there are gonna be a certain number of people who go, well, it looks like a drop cloth or you know something like that? Always. They hope that they can come up with something that creates the image they intended and whether or not other people want it, most artists don't care. Finally, art can have a function. Okay, so these look like lamps to me. Are they art? Again, that's a subjective question, but in this case, it was an artist who sculpted the metal, blew the glass into the metal, and then created the neon piece to light it up. And they are sold as art sculptures, but they're called gem lamps. So it's a lamp and it is art. So to accomplish the impossible, we'll just have to define art as being in the eye of the beholder. Missing something. Ah, yes. Knowing it when we see it. Why'd you love all the price? Mm. You can raise it. At the top of the list.